1982, Mike Varney of Shrapnel Records, who had heard a demo of Momstein's playing from 1978 titled Powerhouse, brought Momstein to the United States. He played briefly with the band Steeler on its 1983 self-titled album. He then appeared with Graham Bonnet in the band Alcatraz, playing on its 1983 debut No Parole from Rock and Roll, and the 1984 live album, Live Sentence. Bonnet and Malmsteen clashed out about who was the front man and had a fight during the show. Malmsteen was fired from the spot from Alcatraz and replaced by Steve Vai. Vai had one day to learn the songs for the ongoing tour. In 1984, Malmsteen released his first solo album, Rising Force, which featured Barry Barlow of Jethro Tull on drums and keyboard player Jens Johansson. His album was meant to be an instrumental side project of Alcatraz, but it ended up featuring vocals by Jeff Scott Soto, and Malmsteen left the band Alcatraz soon after the release of Rising Force. Rising Force won the Guitar Players Award for Best Rock Album and was nominated for a Grammy Award for Best Rock Instrumental, reaching number 60 on the Billboard album chart. Yngwie J. Malmsteen's Rising Force and his band was thereafter known, next released Marching Out in 1985. Then he recruited Jens Johansson's brother Anders to play drums and bassist Marcel Jacob to record and tour with the band. Jacob left in the middle of the tour and was replaced by Wally Voss. Malmsteen's third album, Trilogy, featuring the vocals of Mark Bowles and Malmsteen on both guitar and bass, was released in 1986. Bowles left the band in the middle of the tour and was replaced by the former singer Jeff Scott Soto. The tour was canceled after Malmsteen was involved in a serious car accident, smashing his V12 Jaguar E-Type into a tree, which put him into a coma for a week. Nerve damage to his right hand was reported. During this time, Malmsteen's mother died from cancer. New lineup changes for the next album with former Rainbow vocalist JoLynn Turner joined the band, along with session bassist Bob Daisley, who was hired to record some bass parts and help with the lyrics. In April 1988, he released his fourth album, Odyssey. Odyssey was his most successful album, in part due to the success of the first single, Heaven Tonight. Shows in the Soviet Union during the Odyssey tour were recorded and released in 1989 as the fifth album, Trial by Fire, live in Leningrad. The classic Rising Force lineup with Malmsteen and the Johansson brothers was dissolved in 1989 when both Anders and Jens left. Malmsteen's neoclassical style of metal became popular among hordes of guitarists during the mid-1980s with contemporaries such as Jason Becker, Paul Gilbert, Tony McAlpine, and Vinnie Moore becoming prominent. In late 1988, Malmsteen's signature Fender Stratocaster guitar was released, making him and Eric Clapton the first artists to be honored by Fender. <laughs> 